Yeah, we are back with uh, some Sucker for Love Day to Die for. Um, we have two chapters to go. From what I think is, um, we completed those two 100%, I think. With a little bit of struggle, but that is okay. So, I would say let's just um, move on with chapter 999, I guess. Chapter 999, The Lonely Devil Arrives. I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this game all week. Huh? A cacophony of squeals and excited chattering rushes past the bookstore. The noise must have woke me up. Such commotion. No matter what all the fuss is about, it's far too late in the day to be causing such a ruckus. It's gotten late? Shoot! I was supposed to look for leads before sundown. For a year now, people, mostly girls, have been disappearing from their homes all over the per prefecture. At first, everyone thought they'd run off together, but as more girls vanished without a trace, panic started to spread. They are last seen on the bus to Sacramento. Having grown up here, I cannot stand, stand by while so many people go missing in my backyard. Wait! That horn outside sounded like a group of young girls. I should warn them, or at the very least follow after them. This could be a lead. And why do their voices sound familiar? Wait, don't leave without your books. Thank you. I forgot your name, but thank you. Whoops, almost forgot. Thank you so much. Thank you for stopping in. Take care. I rush outside leaving the warm glow of the bookstore behind. There's no trace of the girls. This should be about where the bus dropped off the missing girls. I'd better hurry and catch up with that group before I lose the trail in this fog. It is. It is super cute. Um, if you want, I can give you the Twitter tag of the dev. They are working on um, another game too. Uh, they are called Akabaka, I think. Yes, there we are. Here. Those are the devs. They are, they, they are really cute. They That's the second game of their... of their series. So maybe if you're interested, you can, you know, look for inspiration or something. You are very welcome. It should be about where the... Okay, we read this before. It sounded like they were headed into the residential area through GG Alley. Were they chasing after someone? Hmm. Did I make a wrong turn? There is no sign of anyone. I cannot make hear the commotion anymore either. The fog here is oppressively thick too. If I keep note of the missing person posters along the wall, I should be able to find my way. There's only a few of them so I can use them as markers. Is that a footstep? Who is that? Hello? No response. Was the wind too loud for my voice to be heard? Hello? I take a step toward the shapeless shadow in the mist and hear something crackle under my feet. Something wrapped up in construction paper. There's various footprints stamped across the surface. Hey Jules, good day to you too. Happy Thursday. It's a photo of an old man eating spaghetti messily. Is it Will Smith? No? Okay. Typing from the phone because cleaning the PC. Okay. Uh, you know, the, the spaghetti AI Will Smith thing? No? Nobody? Okay. It must have just been framed, but the glass is broken from being trampled. Someone from that group I heard must have dropped this. I sprint after them, only to smack right into something else a few steps in. Ow. Oh look, it's it's the guy from the preview. The super famous dude. Oops, I'm really sorry. Are you okay? 
Hey, don't sweat it. It was my fault for standing in the middle of the road. Oh, let me help you with your books. What a handsome boy. I've heard that men are going missing too. Are you headed for the bus stop? You might have already missed the last one. No. I'm actually looking for clues about those girls that have been gone missing. Are you trying to find someone too? I'm looking for my girlfriend. Uh-huh. What, what is your girlfriend's name? <laughs> Poor thing. Was she a part of that mob I heard earlier? What's her name? That depends. What's yours? No. Just no. Ah, bleh. That was so corny. Yeah, this guy's the worst. Hey, this may be a strange question, but do you not recognize me? Sorry, have we met? I don't usually forget faces. Ah, that must be it. You must not have seen me on TV yet. I made that one song, Lonely Devil. Oh my god. Oh wait, I know you. You're Captain Kidd, right? The one and only. He's a widely adored local idol that appeared out of thin air a year ago. No wonder he's wearing that disguise. I bet he can't even go to the store without getting mobbed. Hmm. Still nothing. That's strange. Who'd you say you were looking for again? The girls that have been gone missing. You're... not looking for me? Say, you are an out-of-towner, right? I mean, you obviously don't live here. I'd know who you are. I know everyone around here like family. <laughs> I'm not really an out-of-towner. I used to live here. It's where I'm staying while I'm looking. Show me. Don't show him. If you're really from around here, show me where you live. No. I'm good, thank you. I feel eyes digging into me from all around. I cannot see them, but it just can't be just paranoia. I'm not doing anything, so let's go now. Oh, don't forget your bag. You <gasps> so, you're the one Buck wants. Oh, well, here we go. Oh, you're the one I've been looking for all along. I'm suddenly madly in love with you. No. Oh. God, I, I hate this guy so much. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In fact, I know it's so soon, but let's get married too. <laughs> <laughs> After all, so long as you're alive, I'll never have eyes for anyone else. Never. Oh my God! Is it? Is are, are we gonna get lynched by the mob of wild and girls and boys? Killer girls. Oh, great. Unseen hands desperately grab at me from all around, but I manage to shake off their grip with surprising ease and make a mad dash forward. Behind me are dozens of footsteps. What is going on? Why am I being chased? Who the hell is Buck? Before I knew it, I arrived at my ancestral home, sitting ominously alone in the fog. It's a very scary game, Yasuyuki. <laughs> it's, it's, um, the first game in this series is a dating simulation. Like, it was super cute and super funny. But this one has some atmosphere in it. I love it. It is so good. So good. I love the atmosphere. Honestly, what was in my bag that made them all want to chase me so badly? Uh, what's this bug? The nightmare started over again, and it seems I got lured into the Black Woods trap yet again. Which means... I get to see Roxanne again. Score! Okay, so... There's a lot of flowers in the, on the bottom. I'm sure this is gonna be an issue. Because it makes noise, right? Oh, I totally forgot about all the map. Okay, we have to get Roxanne again. Roxanne is the gold lady we had um, in the begin in the first two chapters. This person is me. <laughs> oh, I mean, there's a window between us. Nothing can go wrong, right? Okay, I cannot talk to them. That's fine. That's not creepy. They are super tall too. Like, like look at look at how tall they are. Dang.
Okay, let's go upstairs. Let, let's go find our... Uh, let's find our... Oh, the door is gone. Interesting. Okay. Let's see if something changed in the book before we start here. Okay, there is an input lag that hasn't been there before. Okay, can I open the options? Let's go full screen and see if that fixes it. Okay. I'm not sure if I played it on full screen or not the last time. Wait, this is new too. That you can look at the thing while you're holding the book? It's new. Interesting. Okay, douse the candles. Get the water bottle. What was it? We got the black goat, right? We got the black goat. Okay, then we're gonna chant. Roxanne, Selva, Oskuda. Oh, she still has the shirt on. Always in the mood. Hello. There she is. I could stare at her forever. Hey, Roxanne. In view of what we've been through together, you could call me... Roxy? Sure. You probably don't remember, but you called me that long ago. And I've grown rather fond of it. Do you think you could call me that again? Yeah, sure. Of course. I'm really glad to see you again, Roxy. <laughs> How have you been? Never better. The thousand are at their last gasp. The only two remaining original members are Buck and Kid. I should have figured that boy, figured that boy what I met was involved. What happened to the rest? Well, every single person Buck sent to kill you instead joined you. Time and time again. So Buck sees to it that when I dream up a new reality, the traitors don't live to meet you. Oh no. Buck sends somebody to kill you. They fall in love with you instead. They betray Buck. Reality ends. Buck spends hundreds of years in time out. <laughs> <laughs> then reality starts anew, Buck kills the traitor, then sends somebody else after you. Hundreds of times over. Oh no. Wow, sounds like I'm on fire. Mm. What? I've lost you many times as well. I left you in their hands? How many times? I'm fine, Stardust, really. This is all nearly over. Soon, the Thousand will just be a distant memory. <laughs> oh yeah, the game has jump scares, by the way. <laughs> Hi! Tackle to the ground, there's a sickening sound of wet metal scraping on and a dull pressure on my stomach. My eyes shoot wide with shock. She's clawing at my clothes and neck, hunting for a grip while we struggle for leverage. Until eventually, she collapses. Oh, heavens below. Are you all right? I gasp and cover my mouth in horror. It happened so fast, I... Roxy, what do we do? Can we do the healing thing? You know, isn't there that one ritual? Stardust. She's dead. Oh, no. What? No. It's not possible. It was so fast. She was already at death's door from exhaustion and starvation. Falling on her weapon was the final blow that stopped her heart. That normally wouldn't even be a serious injury. Chalk it up as another death by exhaustion from the Blackwoods. Oh boy. She is weak because she was about to die? Is that how I escaped from that, ho from that horde earlier? And if it makes any difference... She had the Sacramento stare. Her conscience was long gone. Mentally, she wasn't here for her death. She's trying to comfort me. But even if it was in self-defense, it feels like I... Mic check, one, two, mic check. Hey, are you hearing me? Oh, God. That voice is the boy from earlier. Well, sounds like you had a bit of a nasty shock, huh? Buck's had a lot of time to reflect on how you've beaten him. 
and we've made it so it won't happen again. You're gonna like what we've done with the place. Let's see here. Number one, we took everything out of that room that we didn't need. No bass guitar, no nothing. You're unarmed. That's rude. Number two, no door to the ritual room anymore. Nowhere safe. Eh, but you already knew that one. Number three, we begin our attack immediately. No negotiations, no honor duels, just last bitch standing from the get go. Oh boy. Number four, we cleaned out the fridge as soon as you got here. So no ritual reagents for you. That's rude. Number five, blast loud music to drown out our movements. Oh no, no, no loud music, please. And number six, burn this list after doing everything on it so she doesn't know what's coming. <laughs> The cleaning was bitterly needed, yeah. Okay, I mean, at least it's it's uh, clean now, right? Well, here's number five. What do I do? I don't know. This has never happened before. I... Nothing like this. Sounds like they're getting serious. Guess we'll have to get serious, too. Yeah, let's get serious. Right here, right now. No? Okay. Never mind. Find an isolated location of your choice, some place where your cocoon will not be disturbed. Your organs will be liquefied, so any sudden movements will yield tragic results. Do not perform this ritual outside or near an open window. So it's a rebirth, huh? Okay. Let's go to the bathroom then. I'm pretty sure there's no window. Okay, we, we should be good. Okay. So... Okay, let's just go. One, ah, ye, mekena, e, fi. Oh my god, that's... Okay. We gotta wait one and a half minutes then? Oh, Mikulosh was so dirty. I mean, he always is dirty. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, I, I need to clean mine too at some point. I haven't done that in a while. Okay, so far nothing is happening. That's good. Oh. Well, there goes our comfort of seeing, you know, nobody's coming in. No more comfort for us. Uh oh. Okay. Something killed me. That went fast. Okay. Hmm. So the bathroom was not the correct choice then. What could be closed off room though? Without windows. We could try it downstairs in the heart? Or can we get into the bedroom, finally? Let's see. This is our room. I'm not sure if this would be safe. Hmm. You know, it would be helpful if, you know... We didn't have to wait 70 seconds to die. I guess we just have to find the correct room then. Like the other option was the one where we wouldn't be able to go in yet. Like we weren't able to get into one bedroom. I'm not sure if it changed or not. We'll just try every room, I guess. Like, the alternative would be downstairs inside the hearts area, but... Oh, I think we're dead. Yikes. I don't wanna be dead.
Could you leave the room, please? This is a very intimate moment. Okay, come on. Three seconds. Return to Roxanne. Where did they go, though? Okay, I mean... I'm not gonna complain about it. Uh, hey, Roxanne. A troubled look. Are you all right, my sweet? I'm still really shook up by the one that rushed in. The one that, you know... Yes, death can be an upsetting thing to see for death shy. It's not that. She's not wearing robes or a mask. She just had the stare. And she was so frail. So unlike the thousand. You have already figured it out on your own, haven't you? I didn't want you to find out. But your attackers are not members of the thousand. They're using innocent people as your assailants this time. That's so fucked up, dude. This is a concerning bit of leverage they've created. Experience has taught them they can use your humanity against you. This feels so, so different from what I, from the little I can remember. How am I supposed to save any of them, Roxy? At this point, I know nothing I can say will stop you from trying to befriend the people actively trying to kill you. Yeah, that's us. If they're under my curse of thousands, then their admiration for Kid has been magnified to the point of fanatical idolatry. The only way to break their obsession is either by finding something else that they love even more, or by removing the object of their obsession. Hmm. I mean, that worked well with uh, Buck, right? With Anne and Buck? No. Uh, was it Anne? I, I cannot read. Nan Nanny? No. And. I don't remember the name of the lady in chapter one. It's ha It has been a week and I don't remember it, so sad. Anyhow. But I don't know anything about these people. Where would I even start? Hope I think of something. Okay, what do we have? Enhancement black eye. Your body should be more pliable to change now. Have a knife on your person. Harvest meat from a mammal that died within the Blackwoods within the last 24 hours. What? This works best if it's something that you personally kill. Oh no. Okay. So, we have to find a knife in the kitchen, right? I don't think there's a knife right here. Oh. Oh. Um. Well, we found a knife. The knife comes free with a sickening sucking sound. I cannot bring myself to use it against these poor souls. Jules, thank you very much. I'm, I'm, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. you. You don't need to do that. You know that. Thank you. I can't bring myself to use it against these poor souls, but I might need it for these rituals. I wipe the blade on my skirt. Are we actually gonna... And back to the PC, Mikolaj is all clean and shiny. Nice. But he was able to do this again, fucking ads. Yeah, sadly I cannot do anything against the B-roll ads. But, you know, it's the least amount of ads anyone can ever get, so... It's better this than having three minutes of ad each hour. So, yeah. <coughs> I know, don't worry, just don't like them. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. There's also a thing that's called ad block. But, you know, I'm not advertising ad blocks at all, but, you know, they are there. <laughs> the meat of something that died within the Black Woods in the last 24 hours. She's already dead, so there's no harm in this, right? We'll be quick about this, I promise. Oh my god. We broke every single rib. <laughs> oh no. That should be enough, but... Carving up a dead human for their meat. 
I cannot remember enough about myself to know if I'm better than this. The line that separates me from the thousand is getting blurrier with every go around. Okay, so there will be a splitted path here most likely. Like we will find meat somewhere else instead of, you know, doing it ourselves. But we're going with the easy way. For the first time. Same thing, but a bit faster. I see it work. Very, very good. It seems we have a fighting chance against their new tactics. What's this? A portrait of your grandfather? Oh, that's not mine. I found it while I was coming here. I figured one of the people who went missing dropped it. Wait. If somebody went the, out of their way to frame this, they probably care deeply about whoever is in this photo. What if it's one of the people chasing me around? If I could reunite this with the owner, maybe they will, will realize they love the guy in the photo more than Kit and leave. Brilliant as ever, my shining star. But be careful and observant. This photo might protect you from its rightful owner, but it'll have no effect on anybody else. Right. I keep an eye out for other drop keepsakes while going through the rituals. Okay. First of all, we're gonna see what what's new in the book. Oh, there's a spider. Nice. Why is that spider now? Your map will now automatically reveal dying things within range. Yeah. Chant while facing one rot bloom flower. What was a rot bloom flower again? Do not attempt this ritual in a room with more than one rot bloom. Don't feel too bad. If their rot bloom is here, they won't be needing their heart anymore. Hopefully, they don't try to take it back later. Okay, we need to find a rot bloom. Yes. Okay. Hi. Nani? What's that? Well, I'm not going there then. Hi! Nice bet you got there. Oh god. The map with it. Oh god. This is. Oh no. This is no. I shouldn't have turned around, that was my mistake. No. I no, I was too curious. I was too curious. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Excellent work. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have turned around. That's on me. Hold on, so if I wait, do they still keep moving then? I'm gonna wait for a few seconds and see if they move. I'm assuming not, okay. I'm just gonna ignore her. Nobody can see her. Nope. Oh, Jesus! Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, no. That's the wrong one. Hold on. No checkpoint. Oh, my God. <laughs> Excellent work. Oof. Okay. It's a little bit harder than... It's a little bit- it's a little bit harder than... with Billy. Stop breathing at me, please. This is so freaking scary. Oh my god. Can you stop breathing in my ear, please? Oh my god, I hate this so much. Can you not do that? I hate the sound. Stop it. Whose phone is this? Definitely not my sister's. I've never seen this number from mom before. I'll hold on to it. Maybe I can return it to whoever owns it later. Well, how do I...
Do we have... A the question is, what are rot bloom flowers, right? I don't think there's flowers here. I'm, I'm just gonna try it, I guess. Okay. No rot bloom flower here. I'm gonna die if I turn around, is the thing. Hmm. Rot bloom flower. Like, we are stuck here now. Uh, hi. There you are. Oh, she's talking now. Okay. I count back the number from the missed calls. I put it on speaker. Erica? Erica! Thank goodness I was worried sick! Mama? What happened to you? Where did you go? Why did you leave? I'll try to be a better mom. I... Oh my god. You didn't do anything wrong. I'm so sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Sweetie, please come home. I'm coming, Mom! Thank you. I give her the phone back, and she dashes off. Okay, so this is... Oh, is this a rot bloom, then? A beautifully morbid-looking flower. This must be a rot bloom. Oh, this is so cool. I like that you have to collect stuff and then give it to the people that are chasing you to get rid of them. That's so funny. Go kwaok and gunbutten knit up ya. Oh hi. This is us. Yeah, sure. I hope you appreciate the situation you're in. We can do this forever. Tell me who the bookmaker is. Over my dead body. Accommodate that. <sighs> Giving up? Finally. My arms are getting tired. She never breaks. This is a waste of time. We'll have to find leads on our own. I love she how told you she was from here, right? I love how we have, you know, this as a view. Just saying. Yeah, but I think she was lying. In case she wasn't, check every house. Starting with the ones near our base. Find a photo. Something left behind that proves that she lived there. What? Oh, that's like dozens of houses, though. <laughs> I gotta do that all by myself after burying her. <sighs> if it makes you feel any better, this is the worst day of my life, too. That's so funny. Buck wants to know who the bookmaker is and where I live. If he knew either piece of information, he could find me long before I made it to this house. Before I know what's going on, even. If that happens, I'll be out of all, all out of redos. I'm going to try to not think about too hard about it. Or about the soft possessions of my own heart in my hands. Okay, so... This is interesting, because... He's trying to do what we are, we are currently doing, like, we... He's going through the motions of, you know, resetting all the... This is so... This is so cool. Um, the question is... I know we know who the bookseller is, right? They said us their name once. But I forgot who it was. So, there's a possibility Buck will get it, right? Is the thing. that works they told us in the first game uh, in the first chapter hold on I mean she wasn't able to get inside last time right I, I, I'm not taking any chances oh she's here too huh I guess we have to take the chance then hi Still startled me. I'm so sad. I'm so sad. Okay. How do we get to the bedroom? I 
Like, there's only two ways to get there. My bet is that we have to wait until she leaves here. Oh, she's not here. Okay, we have to move then. Go, go, go. Oh, go, oh, go. You're doing so well despite the circumstances. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thanks, Roxy, but... But what? What's troubling you, my shooting star? I just saw all of the flowers I've left. Each one holds the memory of another time I didn't make it. I wouldn't advise seeing any more echoes of past realities. Believe me, I had my fill. But it's just so strange to realize how many times we've gone around. I was thinking the same thing. To think Buck hasn't given up after all this time. It's strange. Whenever my followers achieve lifespans so long that it borders on immortality, they usually end their lives within a year. Without the ticking clock, there's no reason to do anything today, tomorrow, this month, ever. Even with my powers, the longest a human has ever chosen to live is 125 years. Buck is thousands of years old now. To think he hasn't gotten tired of this yet. Roxy, it's okay. I've made it to the last ritual again. You're almost out of here. What? You managed to get through everything. Ah, oh, well, we kind of phoned it in with the outsourced killers, huh? But they're still useful for just one more thing. Check this out. You're gonna love it. Oh, there's nothing I hate more than people that run from burning buildings. If anyone did that, I wouldn't love them anymore. There's just something so beautiful about someone who could sing their love for me amidst the fires of passion until they drop dead. This is so awful. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Do you see now? If you uproot the woods, everybody burns. Make your choice. Okay, Jigsaw. That's his game? Turning his fans into... into hostages? I cannot just give myself up, but I cannot send innocent people to their demise. Is there a right move? Remember, there is a third option. If you uproot me and then kill Kid, his followers will flee, the object of their lust dead. Die, let die, or kill. I know these are impossible choices for you especially. But whatever choice you make, I'm behind you 100%, my starlight. Thank you. The truth is, I cannot make any of those choices. They have got me trapped three different ways. Hey, Panda. Good day to you. Happy Thursday. I still have a faint hope that being stubborn will see me through with this. If I find all of these hostages keepsakes, there is a chance I won't be forced to make a choice. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, at least one is dead anyway, so... The emaciated body of the girl that attacked me. She looks even skinnier up close. Poor thing. Yeah, poor thing. Boo-hoo. Okay. So this is burning down the place, then. And the optional thing of finding all the... Keepsakes. It's not being shown on the map. This is... Interesting. Okay. Let's see if we can find the keepsakes. Like, we do not how know how many are left, right? It's blocked from the other side by something purple. I can't see clearly. Okay. We can still not get in there. I mean, we could always, always go for the bad ending first. We're gonna complete everything anyway, right? Is there something in the book for us? That's the heartburn. Okay, there's nothing here. Like, we still have the... A photograph. Okay, we have to find three more items then. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. 
Füllkutter. Oh, Jesus. Ähm. Um. Ups. That, were, that went super well. Okay. Sure. Oh boy. So I think I took, just took too much time here. Let's see. There's no one downstairs so we can go. Do they catch me in between both of those then or? Like I think I went. Okay, never mind. Never mind then. Let's see. Oh no, that's not where I wanted to go. But okay. No checkpoint. I keep doing that. There you go. I wonder if it matters in which. In which chapter you get the items. So we know there's nothing in the bedroom. We haven't checked the bathroom though. And the balcony. Let's see. There's no one on the balcony either, so that's good. Okay. Beauty products. Let's go to the balcony then. Muffled headphone music. There we go. Looks like someone left their CD player here. It's covered in punk stickers. Oh, the headphones I can hear an acoustic sound playing. Sounds homemade. Must have belonged to one of the folks hiding around here. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. It must be the lady that kills us downstairs then. It must be her then. Because she was blocking both uh, both paths uh, downstairs. Hello. Oh. Okay, I guess it was not her then. Okay. I guess not then. Fine. Thank you for proving me wrong, I guess. The question stands, so how are we supposed to get in there then? Hop, 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 hop. Can we do something here? Like, waiting is not an option here. Oh, this is so loud, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so annoying. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's, it's not annoying, it's... It's cool, but, you know... Uh, YouTube won't like that, I think. Oh, hi. Who are you? There's a severed head on the table. A note tied to it in its hair reads, For you, my love. The ultimate souvenir. The hat belongs to the one half of that pop duo on TV. I take the hat. Someone out there must be looking for her. Number seven. Wait for you to come turn off the music. God damn it. Well, I, I, I could have... I could have just... I could have realized that one, actually. So... Oh, well. Okay, so we are walking around with a severed head, then. Interesting. So who is the other part of the idol, then? I wasn't paying attention on the TV, is the thing. Also, having this being an ending is so fun. So funny. I love it. Like, on the TV, it should show the... Hold on, let, let's see if we can see it. I'm gonna leave the music this low, by the way. Because it's part of the, you know... We cannot hear their steps kind of deal. 
Like, it's the head of the right one, right? Isn't the left one the one that was stabbing us when we were going for the kitchen? Am I am I am I dumped now? I'm pretty sure that might be her. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> Uh, wait, this is downstairs, right? Yeah, I don't want to go downstairs, but I want to check for new for items, you know. Actually, maybe there might be one downstairs, right? Hi. Okay, let's see if we can find one downstairs. There's nothing here. I found her. Wait, it didn't show her, though. I crank the volume as high as it can go and hit play. An acoustic song starts. What is that music? Her voice. I've definitely got the right person. Don't you recognize who that is? Wait, I know who that is. That's me. That's my song. That's me. Are you serious? But it's so good. I... I sound like that? I give her back the CD player. She quickly puts the headphones on. That's really me? She crawls away, nodding her head along with the music. Okay. Oh wait. That's the way back. Is this the real pretender man? Yes! <laughs> yes, hey, hey Dark, welcome in. This is the real pretender band. The one and only. <laughs> oh, there it is, I knew it. Oh, Wallet! The ID says this belongs to Kenji Ito. Says he's here he just turned in 22 today. My god, it's such an honor. No, you cannot. No autographs. <laughs> Either the poor guy's wandered in here by mistake, or he's with the other ones chasing me. I'll hang on to this. Could come in handy. If I could, would give all my autographs all really needy, they wouldn't be worth anything, right, Dark? So, you know... I hope you're doing well. Happy Thursday. Okay, we got all the items now. So we shouldn't be scared except for Kate then. Correct? So let's go find the person. And hope the best. Oh, hey. Please, come here. Let me kill you. Not the old lady. I stand a safe distance away and pull out the crack the portray I found earlier. Yeah, but I'm saying just give me an autograph so I can sell it on eBay. Nobody ever uses eBay anymore. eBay, eBay is a... No. no who, who uses eBay these days? <laughs> oh, boy. I think you could get way more money on other uh, other sites, honestly. <laughs> oh, what have you got there, dearie? I still use eBay sometimes. Oh, man. Okay. Sorry for the call-out, then. <laughs> Handsome. I guess Cra Craigslist is just as bad. Honestly, you know. So handsome. Is that my... Is that my Angus? <laughs> this is not what I read, but yes, this is your Angus, I guess. Oh, that's my Angus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we had the same wang wavelength, uh, Dark. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. It's her anus eating spaghetti. <laughs> uh, no. No, stop it. We are not 12 years old, okay? <laughs> she turns and leaves as quickly as she can. Okay, let's find the other lady. Let the mind be free. <laughs> Hello. Wait, where are you? She left. Okay. Where'd she go? She was here just a second ago. Are you serious? Nope.
Where'd she go? She just straight up vanished. Damn. Okay. Hello. Anyone here? I'm not scared anymore. I have an item for you. I cannot be serious, dude. I'm not leaving. She found her anus and dipped. I mean, yeah. That's what I would do if I would lose, lose my anus. If I'm being completely honest. Oh, she's back here then. Okay. Hello. I present the head of the idol. Happens to me all the time. <laughs> I saw you two on TV. Any chance for a reunion tour? Tay Tay and Kiki. Thank you very much. You're welcome. They leave. Harmonizing until they're too far for me to hear. Okay. So we need silly to find the ID person. Is that kid that no it's not kid. <laughs> Thank you, Dark. I appreciate it. Wait a reunion tour? She's only ahead. So what? This is a game about eldritch entities. And, uh, what do you expect? We're, we're, we're trying to smooch a goat lady. You know? No asshole to find, though. <laughs> oh, there's, there they are. Let's go. Hello. Gotcha. Happy birthday, Kenji. What? It's your birthday today, isn't it? Isn't this yours? You remembered my birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday. <laughs> Someone remembered my birthday. Oh. He stumbles off, wiping away his flowing tears. Hey, don't forget your wallet. I'll drop it up at the police station later. Okay, that's all of them then. Yep. I guess we're doing the heartburn then. Definitely remember that his birthday totally didn't read the ID. Yes. Exactly. Also, we totally knew that dude. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna talk to... I'm gonna try and talk to my lady again. If we can. Can we... Okay, we cannot. Fair enough. So, I'm pretty sure we dealt with all of the people. So, let's uh, do the ritual then. Do we need something for the ritual, though? There you go. No, not this one. It Arden Donor. Oh, we did that. Okay, right. Uh, blah, 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 blah. This ritual will cause the Blackwoods to burn to ash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can just go there and do the thing. I mean, you're running through a Japanese-style house that has a floor made of cherry blossom sleeves, so... Of course you knew him. I mean, <laughs> you know what? Sure. Sure. That, that's a fair assumption. This is such a... I think this should be the way down. Yes. Okay. Finally, the music is quiet again. Okay. We can do the thing again. Let's go with the purple one. And so my black woods burn to ash once more. Looks like I really am leaving again. These dreams with you, so long and so short, and never dull. They, they did a really good job with the music. It, uh, the main music of this uh, game series too is super fun. Like this is the second game of the of the dev, so. Uh, very fun. It recently came out and, you know, I'm digging it. Like, they added a lot of horror in this, like, jump scares and everything. Uh, the last game was more like, okay, it's super funny and, you know, making weird jokes and, you know, smooching all the entities and stuff. They stepped up that game big time. I really love it. Again, yes? I started to grow fond of Sacramento. It's a cozy diversion from the outer cosmos. And it kind of feels like my second home. I nod absently. 
My thoughts are preoccupied with what's to come. Did I make the right choice? Smudging all the entities casual day, yes. You told me once. Nothing is worth regret. Memories and lessons are all worthwhile. Your story is still being written. Even if this chapter ends differently than you'd hoped. I thought that was an insightful thing of you to say. Thank you, Roxy. DBD dating sim Japanese edition. Man, the DBD dating sim was so good too. I'm still super mad they didn't bring DLCs for it. I would have bought them in a heartbeat. And thank you, my starlight. Take care. And be good. I'm always good. Okay. So, this was way too easy. And I'm kind of worried this is not the end. Let's see. We still have to leave the house. And the last time Buck, um... The last time Buck, you know, um... Caught us off guard while we were trying to escape and, you know, shot us in the face. More or less. So, it's gonna be interesting to see where this goes now. I haven't found any crossroads either in this uh, chapter. Oh, hey, kid. They didn't turn back to look at me. Not even for a second. Oh, no. You used the Blackwoods to warp their desire. Of course their adoration wasn't genuine. I didn't know! When I suddenly got popular, I didn't guess it was because I was brainwashing everybody. <laughs> this I didn't know really sounded like Lucas for a second. Oh my god, okay, never mind. All I knew was that uh, everyone I met in Sacramento would become my biggest fan. That's all Buck told me. Wow, you're even stupider than you look then. But if all of it was fake, what was it all for? The killings. So many people died over this? His eyes are back to normal. His desire for his fans' adoration is zero. The Blackwood cannot amplify anything as it burns. He was using you to feed the woods and to catch me. And you only fell for it because they were brainwashed too. You should go. You think I'd save everyone else but you? Come on, let's go. And go where? If the police didn't know I'm connected to every disappearance over the last year, they know now that we let a dozen witnesses go, and now that the woods are burning, I've got nowhere to hide. My life's over. They're not gonna buy a four-eyed goat from outer space made me do it. <laughs> Everything I was working so hard hey, Yomi, for, good day to you. it all vanished the second I set foot in this awful town. If I had any idea. Happy Thursday. You know, I heard your song on the radio before the disappearance started. Lonely Devil? It was pretty good. <laughs> Good grief. At least I still have that. I'm turning myself in. I'll take whatever sentence I get quietly. And then, if I ever get out, I'm starting over in earnest. He leaves, disappearing into the fog, like his fans before him. I follow shortly after, bidding farewell to my home yet another time. I walk until the house becomes a small flicker in the distance. Strange. I don't usually make it this far, right? How are we? I'm still busy grinding gear for we. Oh wow, and fourth character. Man, you have so much time on your hands, dude. <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. Uh, I hope you're enjoying World of Warcraft still after your fourth character. <laughs> I am, uh, yeah. Playing Borderlands, I'm playing this game here. I'm playing, um. What is it? Uh, Elden Ring, I'm playing. I finished Dragon Age Inquisition yesterday, actually. So that's that's done. And uh, yeah, Elden Ring and you know, a lot of gaming and I'm still without pain, so hooray. Did I do it? Am I finally free of the nightmares? Oh, Raiding Black Temple. Ooh. Wait, what's that? Okay. Damn. Kid has left the thousand. Chapter 3.
true end. Okay, so in this chapter you only got the true end or you died. I mean, you could have burned all of them down, I guess. It's also a possibility and that would not be the true end. Hold on, let me see if, if we can load back there. Oh yeah, actually. Let's, let's just do the... Uh, hold on, do we still have all the items? No, we do not. Okay, we have to get to a point where we don't have all... Where we don't grab all of the things. Who? Okay. We need two things then. We need the head, maybe? No, I think the only thing we really need was the... The headphones, right? To get down there? Oh, do I still have all the items? Oh, okay. Um... Do I have to say, start from the beginning then? Okay, let's let's try it from the beginning then. Oh no, uh, no. Okay, you know what? Instead of doing that, we we're doing um, chapter one thousand uh, after our break, and after that, we're gonna clean up all the things we did not get. Sounds good. Sounds good. I'll see you all at three to five. Thank you for.